Hey guys, it's been a while. I've been out for about two weeks now. You can still feel it, smell it. It is literally snowing, so I found some gloves. Uh, there's ice on my windshield, so might as well record a video on the car's warming up. It doesn't snow often in Texas. Uh, I get cedar fever every year, and so it really hit me this year. It was, uh, it's weird because I kind of get it, my eyes itch, and my nose gets a little inflamed, and then usually I get sick. And I don't know if it's like from the cedar or if it's like something else in my system. I mean, this this felt like a legit flu. I had a fever and I was extremely weak and battling it and battling it. And you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Uh, there's no better test for mental resilience than feeling like shit for two freaking weeks, especially for someone like me, where like if I can only work a couple hours a day, it just gnaws at my identity. Like, what am I doing with my life, right? So I've had a lot of time to think and plan and low energy and it's brutal. Uh, I really need to have a plan to like go to Florida every year, but I'm going to Florida next week to hang out with my buddy and uh, that'll be that'll be good. So let's get back to talking about big ideas. And as you've probably noticed, if you're following my main channel, which is Colin Stucker, which you should follow, I'm just not making videos for the algorithm anymore. Uh, I might do an occasional carnivore diet video or an occasional nutrition or health video, but generally I feel like I've evolved out of that game. I don't really want to play that game anymore. Uh, that's why my new project, Better Human, is about the mind and how to live and how to question and how to be self-aware. I want to help people change themselves and give them the tools to help them change uh, because then if they can change themselves, they can get their identity figured out and they can become self-aware and whatever, I can give them one page of how to be healthy, one page of how to eat right, what not to eat, what eat, whatever. So by not talking about nutrition, and talking about actual behavioral change in the human mind, I can actually help more people eat better and live better and be healthier while also being happier and more self-aware. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm starting an online school. I have a lot of really awesome ideas for it. I'm not sure if I'm going to raise money or just kind of bootstrap it. Probably we'll start it with a course to how to live uh, the foundations and then how to live one-on-one, -on -one, how to think one-on-one. -on -one. Those are kind of the three core flagship modules that I want to just refine and refine and refine and make better and better and better and be kind of the core curriculum that, you know, every 20 something should take and, and even any, every adult, right? Because these are things that I've had to figure out over years, you know, top hundred books of all time, the, the, the biggest ideas of all time and stuff you don't really find in the modern education system, right? This is like real life practical stuff. Nobody teaches you how to be happy. Nobody teaches you how to be uh, content. Nobody teaches you how to have good relationships and be self-aware or whatever. Like, it just doesn't exist. So that's what I want to help people do. Because through that, you know, when you have the tools to be able to change yourself, you can, you can do anything, right? You can become anything. So actually just open to a page for my daily bits, right? Which you find on Instagram. Uh, how to get everything you want, right? The, that'll be the video today. How to get everything you want, okay? It's not found in some course, well, maybe, uh, if it can help you think differently. But but generally, no book, podcast, course, YouTube video, whatever, is going to give you like this, this the solution or the answer to get what you want. Unless it is focused on how to take control of how you think, how to understand yourself, and really just how to tackle this thing up here. Because everything comes from up here. Everything that you want in your life and everything that you define as good or bad in your life is passed through this brain, your eyes, ears, etc., you can be rich and miserable. You can be poor and happy. And the entire spectrum of everything that the human mind can interpret and define and judge and label, is it's, it's infinite. But it all comes down to one thing. It's the brain and it's choice. And unfortunately, most people, the way the brain operates, the thoughts, the beliefs, the anxieties, the things that well up is just a random haphazard responding to the environment and a ram random haphazard, uh, they've been developed haphazardly through their past. And most people have no control over what they say is like the elephant of the brain, the subconscious. Most people are not actively trying to audit their thought process and kill bad, useless thoughts, right? So, so the key to getting everything you want is you have to master yourself, you. And that starts with mastering your mind. 
Now, you can get half good at mastering your mind and it's gonna pay massive dividends. Like, we're not gonna become monks. We're not gonna become, you know, Zen masters that can have perfect control of our mind. Like, we're gonna be imperfect beings, that's fine. But I can promise you, the amount of suffering that you will save, every step of the way that you get better controlling your mind and, and understanding who you are, et cetera, it's massive. The things that I used to waste time on, get upset about, whatever, worry about, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how much suffering I brought upon myself. And I see people on a daily basis, some 50, 60 years old, that make themselves suffer for no reason other than their faulty thought process. And that just drives me nuts when I see that. And a lot of young kids growing up, getting out of college, you know, growing up with social media, growing up with all these other things that are attacking their biology, that are making it harder to be happy, that are making it harder to understand themselves and go inward and even just sit alone in a room for a few minutes. Like, we're gonna have, well, we already do have a loneliness epidemic. We're going to have a, a critical thought epidemic, which we do have to some extent. The internet is creating the censored, siloed, groupthink, uh, tribalistic groups that I don't even want to get into. Like, I don't even pay attention to politics anymore. But, like, it's bad. So, for you, the individual, though, you master yourself. You master your mind. Then you can literally do anything you want. You can become anything you want. So a couple ways to do that. Just just kind of an intro to this topic. I'll be expanding more on these. So subscribe, get on this channel, on my second channel, get the Better Human Podcast at Colin Coach. Self-awareness, huge. Probably the most important skill you can possess as a, as a human. Uh, mental models. So understanding kind of the default bias and the mental heuristics that your biology uh, kind of perform naturally and or that are maybe the result of your past and trauma starting to become aware of those so that you can kind of tweak them and then kill some of them and replace them with better mental models like growth mindset positivity etc uh, remove stories so we all tell ourselves stories about ourselves most of the stories that most people tell themselves are negative stories or bad stories and they hold them back so start becoming aware of the things you say about yourself and if you're saying something about yourself that is not useful just stop saying it just kill it you don't need to put yourself down. You don't need to tell yourself stories about yourself. Other than if it is a positive, useful story, then yeah, tell yourself those all day long. Non-response. Somebody cuts you off in traffic. Why do you need to let that person ruin your day? Cultivate non-response. If you drop a plane and it breaks, why do you get upset about it? It's already done. Cultivate non-response. Remove ego. All these things are connected with removing the ego, taking a step outside of yourself and then upgrade your thinking. That's, you know, growth mindset, better mental models, better heuristics, better self-awareness, better understanding of what makes you a human, what makes humans tick, why other people do things, psychology, et cetera. So whatever you want in life is your responsibility. It's your fault. If you don't have the results you want, you haven't changed yourself or your thinking or done things in a way to get that thing. You haven't become the person that deserves those results. Full 100% ownership, no time for victimhood or blame because all that does is keep you stuck and inward focus on it being your responsibility so that you can take the agency to do something about it. That's about that's all I got. Still raspy in there. Uh, for those of you that are watching these videos, even though they're not titled Carnivore Diet or whatever, I appreciate you 100% so much. I appreciate all the comments and likes and everything. And I look forward to helping you become a better human and you helping me as well. I feel like I actually get the most out of teaching and talking like I cultivate I learn the most doing it it's amazing so all right that's it I don't want to ramble on I think the car is probably let's see oh wow big thing of ice let me show you this maybe you can see this can you see that I don't know if you can see that that's all ice right there 